Oh, LeBron James. Boy, is is there any more of a privileged individual on earth than LeBron James? The dude can get away with literally everything, okay? He has no responsibilities. He has no accountability. He is just the best at what he does, and what he does is break rules by the NBA and uh, faces no follow-ups, unlike many other people that would and have violated COVID protocols. They've had to sit out for games. Uh, Kevin Durant was ready, healthy, but he couldn't pass the COVID protocols at the time. Couldn't return early. Former MVP. Yeah, but he's not a social justice advocate quite like LeBron James. So uh, do your time and uh, deal with goofy-ass Kyrie Irving. That'd be great. Thanks, Kevin. LeBron James could soon be like everyone else with regrets after too much tequila. This is an old article, by the way. The NBA's biggest star violated the league's COVID-19 policy protocols. During the same week, he led the Lakers to the win in the play-in tournament and a spot in the playoffs. This is very, very important, okay? Because as you know, I've reported on it several times, and you guys probably noticed this as well, or maybe you haven't if you um, are like a vast majority of people. The NBA's ratings are cratering, and LeBron James in the playoffs is probably one of the biggest hopes that the NBA has in order to recover some stuff. So, uh, just put a little pin in that one. We'll probably get back to it. James reportedly was one of several celebrity guests, including artist Drake and actor Michael B. Jordan. At a promotional event for the Lobos 1707 tequila company he backs. It was... Oh, it happened before the Lakers beat the Warriors to clinch the number seven seed and set up a first round series against number two seed Sun er, the Suns beginning Sunday. The event included a brief outdoor photo shoot and attendees were shown proof. Oh, had to show proof of vaccination or a negative test result per the report. Not enough for the NBA standards. Okay. Seems pretty stringent. Seems pretty retarded. I wouldn't want to be hanging out with these fucking goofs anyways, mostly because Drake is insufferable and... If Michael B. Jordan is one of the biggest actors right now, uh, that gives you a pretty strong indication as to the health of Hollywood. He'd love to see it burn. It's a violation of the agreed-upon protocols, a league spokesman told ESPN. And, as have in other comparable instances around the league, it has been addressed with the team. Well, how was it addressed? Well, we got a statement straight from the NBA on this one, and uh, I know my little goofy dome is cutting off a little bit so i'll go ahead and read this for you and uh, hopefully there won't be too many stops for just sheer anger so that infraction just setting the scene here uh happened may 22nd okay so the nba had to sit on covid protocols for a couple of days in order to come out with this uh very very um china friendly statement nba chief communications officer mike bass issued the following statement to clarify any remaining misconceptions lebron james briefly attended an outdoor event he still attended the event it doesn't matter what are the reports you can catch the coof in what just a couple of minutes even be in close proximity to somebody who's positive or maybe that's from a couple of months ago who knows you're still liable even if you only briefly attended the event last week where participants were required to be vaccinated or return a negative test result okay um that's part of your policy under these circumstances and in consultation with medical experts, oh, it was determined that his attendance did not create risks related to the spread of COVID-19 and therefore no quarantine was necessary. It's so nice that when a big star like LeBron James breaks the rules of the league, they'll just find little loopholes. So, oh, we consult it with the experts. Who are the experts? Uh, the Los Angeles Lakers uh, ownership staff. Oh, okay, cool. Do you think you want LeBron James to play on your team? I think so. Over the course of this season, there have been numerous similar violations of the league's health and safety protocols, which were addressed with the uh, players' teams in a similar fashion. Yeah, but making those guys who violated the protocols sit the fucking games out under the current nba rules vaccinated players are permitted to engage in outside activities including their individual commercial arrangements such as a sponsor appearance or ad shoots uh but it was um an event for one of your many numerous brands which unfortunately we're going to be flush with lebron james a lot after even after he retires he's not going to be like your standard athlete where he's eventually just going to ride off into the sunset and set up a used car factory hey come on down to lebron james chevrolet and buick we got the buick enclave and at the prices that we have them listed it's a slam dunk now, this motherfucker's going to be in everybody's hair for fucking decades, and 
that just kind of sunk in a little bit, and it's troublesome, to say the least. Ugh, God damn it. He's just going to be like Obama, isn't he? I can see them doing a whole bunch of charity events, just spreading their fucking divisive language. God damn it. I used to like LeBron a lot. Must be something in the water. Who knows? Anyways, there was something funny that went around. Okay, there was this Idaho police officer, right? Uh, he, You've probably seen the little TikTok thing, especially if you have a positive AIDS or cancer diagnosis. You've seen the the TikTok out there, okay? And we're going to play it because I find it very funny, and it's uh, just, a, just a mocking thing, okay? Dispatch, I've arrived at that disturbance. We have LeBron call my cell phone right away, please. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. No, can you put the knife down, please, sir? Sir, no, 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 sir, don't stab it. No, no, stop stabbing. Stop. Oh, hold on. Hold on. It's LeBron. LeBron. Hey, yeah, it's me again. Listen, I'm out here at this disturbance call, and there's a guy trying to stab another guy with a knife. What do you think I should do? Why does that matter? Okay, uh, well, they're both black. So you don't care if a black person kills another black person, but you do care if a white cop kills a black person, even if he's doing it to save the life of another black person? I mean, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but then again, you are really good at basketball, so I guess I'll take your word for it. I don't know about you guys, but I find that really fucking hilarious. In the proper context for that video, it came out just a couple of days after, uh, what the fuck's her name, Micaiah Bryant, uh, that big bitch who tried to come in and fucking fricassee her friend across her rather large body. The officer managed to shoot her mid-stab, and then LeBron James had the audacity to tweet out your next accountability, hashtag accountability for the police officer who performed the uh, fucking circus-level trick shots. And that officer there, Officer Sylvester, he was placed on administrative leave because they were investigating the TikTok, the very hazardous TikTok. Okay, I've heard a whole bunch of different reasons as to why that was such a bad thing to do. I, I don't know, I come up maybe a little empty as to why that is something that is worth an investigation to begin with. It was very funny, okay. Uh, was he commentating on an actual event happening? No. Would the joke be funny without being in full dress, in full uniform? No, it, the entire joke is predicated on the police asking permission in order to stop a stabbing in progress from our Lord and Savior, LeBron James. And thirdly, would anybody think that that is standard operating procedure for that police department? Like, would anybody be confused by that? There are some special ed kids that are on TikTok, but I even think that that's a bit of a stretch. So the investigation happened, and then he was allowed back to work because obviously everybody could see that that was a joke. There was nothing wrong with that. But then this came up today that, um, yeah, that cop got fired. Cop got fired for the exact same reasons why the father in British Columbia of the kid who is transitioning thanks to dr wallace wong i remember that asshole's name because he's a child mutilator ended up refer uh, would refuse to call his daughter his son because that's fucking retarded and no he didn't get thrown in jail no he didn't get fined and con found in contempt of court because he misgendered his daughter no he got thrown in jail because he violated a court order saying that he can't misgender his daughter and the only reason that that was something he could get thrown in jail for is because it's illegal to misgender people in Canada because we're such a fun and carefree society. Suck a shemale dick. Officer who mocked LeBron James gets fired. A law enforcement officer whose social media video mocking basketball star LeBron James went viral as he has been fired, an Idaho official confirmed Thursday. Nate Sylvester, who was working for the Bellevue Marshal's office when he made the video, was suspended in April when the investigation took place. He was later allowed to return to work but placed on probation. During the week of May 20th, while working, Sylvester violated several city and state policies, Mayor Ned Burns said in a statement. Which were those policies and which were those infractions? He's on the taxpayer dime, so we should know why he was fired. After previous policy violations, Deputy uh, Marshal Sylvester was placed on probation and was on at what is called a last chance agreement with his superior officers because he continued policy well, because of his continued policy violations the marshal has terminated mr sylvester the firing did not stem from former official social media posts the official said 
it's kind of like having a YouTube channel and the first strike that gets leveled at your channel for say, oh, I don't know, claiming that Bill Gates wants the entire world to switch to synthetic meat is somehow in violation of medical misinformation. The next time you get some kind of an erroneous strike on your channel, yeah, you immediately get taken down for seven days. Something tells me this dude, he got his name out there, whether he likes it or not, the post went viral. A lot of people found it hilarious. And then you had your LeBron James stands out here being like, you mocked our king. And they were going to do anything to take you down. Something tells me, I don't know, if you do a little bit digging into these um, violations, I'm thinking that they're probably just phony complaints from a bunch of people who have a little bit of a problem with taking a joke. Sylvester Mock James, a forward for the Los Angeles Lakers, after the basketball player posted a photograph of the police officer who fatally shot a girl in Ohio last month. A girl who was mid-stab, by the way. We can't gloss over that fact. The officer, Nicholas Reardon, was attacking other oh, was attacking others with a knife when she was shot dead. Yes. LeBron James later deleted the post, and that before everybody and their mother got a screenshot of it. Sylvester mimicked a situation where he had to go yes that's more explaining that but the little clip of the tiktok itself i showed you he was on hannity he was explaining his situation and um he's saying it's another instance of cancel culture i would be tending to agree with that okay none of my other videos that depicted me in uniform or involving body cam footage none of those mattered they didn't care about those it wasn't until my lebron james tiktok struck a political nerve that they started to pay attention and complain about it and it came up in forms of discipline i'm kind of liable to agree with this guy are we ever going to find out the full situation maybe not but i'm kind of side with him on this one mostly because i kind of like funny people but yeah lebron james is the most protected um human being on earth but yet he'll still lecture people on their white guilt and i just want to ask him one question how well is that uh malcolm x autobiography goes it looks like you have a tough time getting past the first page though buddy should have stayed in high school a little bit longer but with that said i thank you all very much for the gift of your time i've been don consuelo I want you to follow your gut and get after it and take care everyone